welcome back, everyone. Surprise! <laughs> We're doing a special sec extra bonus segment for you this morning on Upper Michigan Today. So yeah, we had so much fun. That was part of a trip up to the Keweenaw that we mm -hmm. made, um, stopping at Chicago Beefs. And uh, there is something really special every time we take Upper Michigan Today to the Keweenaw. There, I don't know, the, the, the welcome we receive is so mm -hmm. warm and so loving. And I, every single time we leave, I'm like, man, I can't wait to go back. I know, right? It's always so special. The, the businesses that we go to, they welcome us with open arms. They're yeah. super excited um, and so humble just to have TV people there yeah. and showing interest in what they have to offer. And Chicago Beefs specifically, I had heard so many things about Chicago Beefs uh, and, and their food. I was really looking forward to trying one of those hot beef sandwiches. <laughs> and I will just say that it blew out my expectations. I mean, a hot beef sandwich, it's good, right? Yeah. But it's a hot beef sandwich. How yeah. good can it be? Um, no, it, it my expectations so were blown out of the water. Okay, and you did it up. Like, you went all in. Yeah. You were like, do you want to dip it? Yes. Do you want to dunk it? Yes. I, like, pour that in there. Was it too soggy? Did it? Like, I, I, I was scared to do that because I just didn't want it to be too soggy. I was nervous about it being too soggy, but I don't think so at all. I think it added just a nice level of juiciness. And I mean, the sandwich was so good that I ate it before, like, it You're crying just talking about it. I know. No, you ate it so fast. I know. Actually, faster than I think I ate mine. And I think this is probably the worst eating footage that I've ever like <laughs> let air of me. You can just see the juices dripping There's down my no arms. There's no clean way to eat one of those sandwiches. You, you just have to stance. commit to going all in. Yeah, that's right. You, you, just the the stance. Stance. you just have to commit to it and just know that whatever happens, it can get cleaned up later. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. Stance. It was worth the trip. It, 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 it's worth the visit. Um, you know, the owner was just absolutely lovely. lovely. The employees there were lovely. I, mm -hmm. I, the whole experience was really great. And I'm already, like, looking forward to the next sandwich. Oh, me too. So hungry. Yeah. And I'm already looking forward to my next visit to the Keweenaw. Me too. What are so, we going to do next? Thank you all. No, I don't know. Good you guys planet. tell us what we should do. So, but in the meantime, the reason why we wanted to come back is because we wanted to share one more segment with you from Chicago Beef. So, um, this was put together by our videographer who you've come to know and love, Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, he just spoke with the owner a little bit about some of the art and, um, you know, just the story behind what, makes, what made Chicago Beef's happen. Right. And what continues, what he, he continues to uh, put forth in terms of an atmosphere that he's trying yeah. to create. It's so much more than just food. It is. So take a look. Enjoy it. This really is goodbye. Bye. Back in the beginning, down in Barraga, started in a 10-foot trailer with a 6-foot kitchen. And I was there for about three years. And then uh, got the invitation to bring it up to Houghton into the Range Snowmobile Club. So I brought the sandwiches, and that made a demand up here. All of a sudden, we had a reason to get a new location. So I went looking and had found this location two days after Pizza Works closed. And there was a sign on the door, closed. I inquired and got real lucky and got this lease. And that was uh, just over two years ago now we've been open. So right away, what I wanted to do is to give it that Chicago vibe with the sports teams, Chicago architecture. I've always thought about having a mural on the wall with some city scenes and prominent figures. So my goal, you see the flags of the Chicago sports teams. One day, I want TVs. So imagine that Sox flag right there is a TV that's playing Sox highlights, Hawks highlights, Bulls highlights all day. And then red, white, and blue. I love America and Chicago. And then one day I realized that if I paint anything else red, white, and blue, it's gonna look like Yankee Doodle Dandy in here. So I said, I'm gonna go get green paint. And my friend said, what are you doing, green paint? And thinking of an Italian kitchen, red, white, and green. So we're all red, white, and blue out here and red, white, and green in the kitchen. So I get people that walk in, they say, oh, you have live music here? When's the band playing? And they don't realize that drum kit and that guitar amp and those guitars are there full time. That's our restaurant equipment. So musicians can just come plug in. 
When I came to this location, first time I put the key in that door, I brought a guitar and an amp. And I sat down right over there, and I christened this place with a little blues music and just <laughs> sat and played guitar in my, my new place. One day, Jessica Jones and I got into a conversation about recipes. She says, hey, I do some artwork, I paint, and I'd like to paint something for you, for your restaurant. I was, sure, that'd be great. And uh, she, she said, okay, how about the Chicago flag? But I'm gonna change the stars to yellow, so we have yellow and blue in, in support of the Ukraine. It, it was just such a wonderful gift from her. And then she did another, and then a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. And then one day I was doing my checks in the morning and I walked in and the elephant painting was gone from the bathroom, just gone. And I knew right away it was stolen. And, and she, was, she was really upset. She was coming in here not herself for some weeks until one day she came in and she said, I have a great idea. Can I paint a mural? That way nobody can ever steal it. She's 90% uh, done with the first wall, but what she said, she wants to go and do all four walls. So that's gonna be panoramic in there. Hopefully, maybe someday that person will have a conversation with their conscience and uh, return the painting. My favorite thing about the restaurant business, it's reflected in a saying that I learned from a former educator. Money talks, but food screams. That is what I enjoy giving, is the culinary experience of the authentic sandwich. My number one priority is the food code and keeping people safe. And after that, I want to make the food taste good.